You may have heard the term hot back summer. Well, as more Americans get vaccinated, they are eager to get back on the dating scene and return to those popular apps or those looking for a little romance. But as Elwin Lopez reports, increasingly singles are not looking for one person to meet. They're trying to make up for lost time, apparently, and find two partners at the same time. Yo. <laughs> If this doesn't scream the typical woman's room in 2021 and what it looks like, then I don't know what does. <laughs> then I don't know what does. She knew she was going to have a news camera presence in her room, and it's still messy. <laughs> because these women can still get away with it. Because at the end of the day, even if her room looks like a pigsty, there's still a guy that's willing to stick it in. That's the sad reality of the world we live in. Also, look at how this woman's built and ask yourself, if this is a man doing the same thing she's doing in reverse, would there be a new story on this? Would a man that's built like this, that has her same income, be able to do the same thing? Think about this as we play this. Absolutely not. He would absolutely not be able to do something like this. But let's just keep watching. Christopher has found love, but he's still looking. Too hot to handle for the Brooklyn Street. Scrolling through dating apps. God, how many dating apps do you have? They pretty much open anything. In search of a second match to add to her existing one. I'm looking for a Saturday night orgy. Also, this is clearly a burnt out 40 year old party chick, okay? I was trying to be nice there. It's a burnt out 40 year old party chick with thinning hair and is overweight trying to hold on to the last bit of her youth. The reason she's looking for a threesome, she's looking for trains or poly relationships or whatever it is, is because she realizes that she would rather share her body with other men and alpha males than settle down with a beta male in a long-term relationship, which is what a lot of women are starting to do. Okay, that's going to be the new trend, which is why we're talking about harems. We're seeing like Blueface with his uh, harems of women living in his house. Okay, Leo DiCaprio, I'm sure he's doing the same thing. Drake, all these top shelf guys, guys on social media, Insta Instagram famous guys, TikTok famous guys, celebrities. They're having harems of women that understand the men that they're sleeping with aren't just sleeping with them, that they have other women. And in order to even be a part of that man's life, they have to accept the fact that this man has other women he's dealing with as well. This is what we're moving towards. These and white picket fences. Like. <laughs> so right now, I am currently in a polyamorous relationship. I have an amazing partner who I love so much. We've been together just over two years. Um, and it's polyamorous and he's married and has a family and has two children. After being cooped up, quarantining, many Americans are ready to get out and mingle. As we're coming out of the pandemic and we're wanting to connect back with people and meet new people, I am definitely more open and curious about new relationships and new friend groups and all kinds of newness and seeing like what the world has to offer. I feel like dating apps do provide a way to find like-minded people because I can pretty quickly tell if you're going to be a kinky type of person that's going to be into what I'm into. Throughout the pandemic, the number of users on dating apps hit an all-time high. The top 20 dating apps had a cumulative average of 17 million daily users, two Damn. million more than a year before, with one option in particular seeing a wild surge. We had a threesome and I just never left. Excuse me. Let uh, 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 this conversation evolve this. The app Field says between 2020 and 2021, it has seen a 670% increase in singles listing threesomes at the top of their wish list. According to a study done by Kenzie Institute researcher Dr. LaMiller, that's also the most common sexual fantasy amongst Americans, with some 95% of men and 87% of women having fantasized about sex with multiple partners.
In our recent survey, we actually found that 52% of Americans, a majority, said they tried something new in the bedroom during the pandemic. And the people who tried new things are actually much happier than those who didn't. I think that's also part of where this interest is coming from in threesomes and being a little bit kinkier. It's just a way of interjecting that novelty to try and get the spark back in the relationship and keep it going. Lockdown pushing some users to swipe for a very specific kind of love on apps. We suppress sexuality so much that we never, we never explore it properly. Anna Karova's partner launched Field after she told him she was attracted to women. Now she's the app CEO. It's impossible to think that sexual desire is not normalized already. It's a part of us, it's part of our bodies, and it's what we're all born with. So normalizing it is just bringing it back to where it should be. The app encourages that normalization, and the pandemic, she says, served as its catalyst. There's just been a desire to be honest. I think we're just, and especially younger generations and people these days, we're just fed up with lies. It's referred to as ethical non-monogamy. It's not a matter of being honest as much as it is these women are being exposed, okay? They can't hide anymore. There's smartphones, there's the internet, there's people po constantly posting videos upon videos, girls going on podcasts, exposing themselves and other women and what they truly desire. So it's hard for these women to say, oh, well, I'm not like that because there's so much proof now and it's just compounding and compounding and compounding on top of each other and it's gotten to the point where a lot of these women are like, well, they figured us out. They figured us out, so I might as well just join an alpha male, join his harem, and get smashed out. And at least I have someone that kind of loves me and appreciates me and can lay with me occasionally after he's done busting. That's literally the world we live in right now, unfortunately. A lot of these women have come to the conclusion that they'd rather be shared by an alpha male or a top-tier, good-looking man than be saddled with a beta male, than be in a relationship, a marriage with a beta male. It's just not worth it to them. Even if that alpha male is dealing with other women, they're willing to just be a part of his rotation rather than be with that beta male because they despise that beta male so much. They can make their own money now, so they don't need that beta male anymore. Back in the old days, they needed that beta male for provisioning, for finances. Well, now they're making their own money. They don't need that beta male in the way they used to need him. For Rev, honesty is a big selling point. Before I started having ethically non-monogamous relationships, I was primarily in uh, relationships that weren't the best for me. They were, I was often finding myself being the other woman and having people cheat on their significant others with me. I want- That's cap. That's a lie. This woman clearly understood her position and her role in those relationships and she's not taking accountability for any of her actions the deflection of accountability in this woman is off the chain guys clearly 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 this woman got a thrill over being the side chick or being the other woman she'll never say that openly but these women understand men that deal with multiple women yet they choose to continue to go after men like this because that man is e that man is either attractive or he gives them those quick thrills okay and he's sought after by other women which is why i talked about pre-selection in my previous video so when she sees that other women are attracted to that man she's going to gravitate towards that man and try to win him over so that she can claim that she is the best woman for him and she was able to win him over it's an ego boost within the hierarchy of female social orders and social status who can get the highest value best looking man in their social order so she knew at the end of the day don't let her fool you that there was a high probability that the man she was dealing with or sleeping with at the time had multiple women she's just not taking accountability for it because you're telling me you got to 35 40 years old year after year after year after year relationship after relationship and it was never your fault nothing you did was ever your fault this entire time yet you look like a burnt out party chick this is a lot of women out here nowadays all right we're going to see this generation my generation gen z a lot of women are going to end up looking like this I wanted the freedom to really allow relationships and dynamics to be what 
the best dynamic is for me and that person. But these types of relationships go way back to pre-pandemic times. I'm David. I'm Mark. I'm Ray. They call themselves X9X26X. After three years of a two-way love story, David and Mark branched out to add one more. Some people wouldn't like fit what we wanted. Some people want um, would wanted to break us up. You know, yeah, and some people just uh, didn't have the same mindset that we had in a way, so it kind of didn't work. So I was just crazy how we met Ray. Now, with Ray on board, they have taken off on social media in hopes that all troubles are less side eye. So I feel like now with social media, we have the power to let the world know, like, you know, polyamorous being poly is actually like it's. Let's normalize it. it it's, ha it's happening in 2021. People say, are you jealous? Because he has, he's always with Ray and this and that. But I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like jealousy um, is kind of like a disease. So for me, I had to eliminate the whole jealousy and have an open mind. For Rev, the jealousy is of a different type. I want my own husband. I want my own family. I want my own children. I know that's where my jealousy comes from is... Um, that my partner has those things and I don't. The endless swiping a step You're closer never gonna to the find goal it. of having a family of her own to add to the mix. We live in a society in which that heteronormative monogamous lifestyle is the norm. It is what we are conditioned to believe is the only way. But there are other ways that are natural, that do feel good, that can be supportive, that bring more love, more understanding, more respect. And that is what I think Polly is about. It's about more love, not less. Elwin Lopez, ABC News, Atlanta. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you thought about what I just played in the comment section below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Also, be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. Help support the channel. Helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for your support. And until next time, I'll see you guys.